It's January 14th. It's cold. It's in the 20s here in Ohio. I'm set up today on a property where they're logging just across the hill from me. So what I'm hoping is when these loggers get in there and start making a bunch of noise, they're going to push a deer into this patch of woods. It's kind of thick and you know, in Ohio you're allowed to bait. So I've been putting some corn out hoping these deer would come in here. It's late season. Struck out in bow season, gun season, muzzleloader season, so I'm hoping to get something fired up here for late season. We only got about two weeks left here in Ohio, so try to make something happen today. It's cold. Oh, big buck, big buck. Sure enough, when the saws started running, the deer movement picked up, and the big boy was standing in the same exact spot where I hit him in October. This time, he was hot on the trail of two does, and they were leading him away from me. All I could do was watch as the does led him out the hillside. About 45 minutes later, a small buck and the same two does were headed back to my stand. And guess who was behind them? The buck stayed out of range for half an hour. Finally, he worked his way to about 45 yards. I picked a spot on his chest. Good shot on him. Looked like it went right in the center of his chest. He went into that little wood patch over there and he didn't come out. So I'm hoping he's in there. Looked like a good shot with my eyes. I'm gonna check the footage, but it looked like it went right in the center of his chest. Man, that fired me up. Yeah. I'll get down and see if I can see any blood. Find my arrow. Yes. I got down and found my arrow. It was a pass-through and it was covered in blood. As the loggers dropped another tree, it looked like I finally dropped that huge buck. But I didn't see him go down, so I gave him some time. Well, I've given this deer about, it's been about three hours now. Looked at the shot again, it looks like I center punched him. It yeah. looks like it went right through both lungs, but he's a big bodied deer and on my way out I could I saw him laying there, so I just backed out. His head was still up, so what we're gonna do is Give it a shot. I, I know where we left him, but it's been three hours, and like I said, the footage was good. You looked at it. Yeah. Hate to bump a deer like that. Give him some time to bed down. And He's huge. Expire. He was big, man. I don't know how I. I just. Calm yeah. down. We'll find him. All right. Let's go see if we can get on him. Good blood. Yeah. Look right, right there. Yes. Dude, so, yes. Oh wow. My. What a giant. Jeez. Oh, dear. Oh. Look, he's easy. Got stickers over there. I hope you can see this. It's dark and we got the camera on the best setting we can to show you. But wow. what a huge, huge deer. He's got, count them up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got eleven. Got a little bit of junk down here. I don't know if that's big enough to score, but give me some. Can you imagine <laughs> the mass on this deer? Wow. What a way to close out. That's hunting. 2007. That's volume two. And this, it's just completed my season. Complete. I don't know if I'll ever top this, but what a deer. 
and with my bow late season. He was actually grunting and following does. It's got to be the second run. It's it's the 14th of January. <laughs> got to be the second run because he, I mean, he did not want to leave those does. You saw him run by, and then the does got under me, and he just he wanted to be where they were. But what a buck! Wow. I can't say enough about him. How freaking is up to the time? Wow. That is unbelievable.